Okay, I am in Ireland. I've come to the Irish Open, um, which is at Le Hinch this year, and I'm joined by a European tour player, Kurt Kitayama. How are you? Good. Good? Yeah. Course looks good. Yeah, it's in great shape. Yeah. You know, this is my first time, you know, experiencing true links over here, so yeah. you know, I'm really excited to get this good. week. Is it kind so, of what you thought it would be? Or I mean we've not had we've not had a really dry summer, have we? Well, not even in the UK, but <laughs> so it's not as hard and fast as they can be. And you were saying that you can probably still land the ball on the green this week? Yeah, a little bit, you know, especially in the wind, they're you know, holding relatively well and yeah. uh but yeah, it's just a new style of golf yeah. that, you know, I'm just going to have to, you know, learn on the go. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think, I think the weather's meant to be okay this week. So if it stays like this, it'll probably even dry out a little bit. So maybe come Sunday, you might have to land a few short maybe. But uh, yeah, yeah, I'm sure you don't need me to give you advice. <laughs> so we're going to talk to you a little bit about your golf swing. Um, and we've also got the driver in your hands. And we're going to go through kind of a few little swing changes that you're making. Now, we talk talking a little bit off camera. You're, you're more of a field player, aren't you, rather than a, a kind of positional technical golfer. Yeah. But there's a few well. things that you're trying to do. So mm -hmm. what were you... You were talking about your old swing. What did you? What was your tendency before with your older kind of golf swing? So I got really high hands, and you know, from there I'd have to reroute it yeah. to get you know shallowed out. And you know, at the end of 2017, I decided to get my hands a little deeper, um, just to make that that drop more consistent, and you know, try and keep the misses you know a little tighter. Yeah. And you've won twice. And did, did that? make that difference Do you feel like that gave you the extra control off the off the tee yeah definitely you know i saw a big improvement in my game and you know all of last year you know at the end of 2017 just gradually making that change and then you know felt like i played really well last year yeah and how do you feel like you you've made that change or is it still something you're aware of and conscious and do you feel feels you slip into bad habits uh yeah definitely it's always there and always trying to you know keep gradually moving it's, yeah. it's, it's a tough change for sure and um you know it definitely wants to you know go back yeah, up yeah. i think that's interesting because i think it, you know when you look at tour pros like yourself their swing it doesn't change one week to the next does it it's a period of you know 18 months where it changes little bit by little bit and i think a lot of the amateurs that i coach you know they want to see it go from here to, <laughs> to here and it's, it's better to actually go slowly isn't it because you get some better results yeah definitely you know just gradual change exactly yeah. so just let you start to business just kind of yeah. show us what you used to do with your so your older your older style back swing yeah so i used to get it out and like up where my this there's like no connection with yeah. my right you know armpit there and yeah. you know you could this hole was covering like this part of my head yeah. you know and we just made a change that you know get it back here more yeah and just kind of feel like one of my feels was to get this left shoulder kind of almost over the inside of my right foot there yeah and then from there you know just kind of load and i can just swing freely from there so i think again talking off camera you kind of know what you're trying to do with your golf swing but you're a little bit more feel based aren't you so are you trying to when you practice you searching for feel like lead shoulder over here and are those what you tend to take on the course as well yeah you know sometimes and then um a lot of times like i say i can't you know i'll just try and hit shots to to help groove it back into you know into sync and, yeah. and uh, a good position so your natural ball flight would be a, a okay. slight cut yeah okay and so do you feel in practice you can move it both ways uh yeah i like to, not with the driver I, I like to just hit a cut yeah and then um but with my irons you know i, I want to have control you know both ways okay perfect. just take your starting position again for us and yeah. just go through that that feel which i think is really good for these viewers especially with drivers so you were saying you're trying to get this lead shoulder kind yeah. of above that just above that knee and i think that's really important with driver mm -hmm. isn't it you know we've got the ball forward but we've got to get that loaded and almost yeah. get behind the golf ball haven't we? especially if we're trying to get golfers hit it a bit further and get that kind of upward hit that's mm -hmm. it's kind of really important yeah definitely so, okay well let's let's see you hit one all right definitely in range this one <laughs> the short par four that'll work <laughs> that's right on it yeah it's gonna to be too much because the green's not that far away that's a great golf thing so a typical practice session for you would it include low shots high shots draws fades and, and kind of a variety of shots yeah you know definitely you know, if i feel like i'm losing the cut you know or coming too steep um i'll try and hit, hit a bunch of draws to yeah. you know even it out so would you would you go to shot shaping before you went to any swing changes any, any technical thoughts uh yeah probably just to? you know trying to hit some shots and if yeah. not feeling right you know you got you know work on something yeah. else so i mean there'll be people watching this video who aren't as, as obviously talented as you who tend to hit one ball flight but i think it's really important to even in practice just you know trying it different ball flights because what they're doing is by doing that they're learning you know how to deliver the club how to control the face how to control the loft all those kind of things and that can only be good because it just gives you ultimate control and on the course you don't have to necessarily go and hit all those shots but it's important to try and learn how to control the golf club and, and kind of 
be able to move the golf club in different ways and hit different shots. So. Yeah, absolutely. Perfect. I mean, you, you get feedback right away when absolutely, you're yeah. trying to hit exactly. different shots. And Ball doesn't lie, does it? No. <laughs> good. Excellent. Well, good luck this week. Hope you play well, enjoy the course, and uh, good luck for the rest of the year. Goals? You reckon you can win again? Uh, yeah, you know, definitely, you know, something to look forward to. Trying, you know, every week you're trying to win. So. Absolutely. <laughs> Perfect. Well, thank you for your time. Yeah, thanks. So, hopefully that's helpful for you. Um, some advice there on how to maybe hit better drives by that feeling of that right uh, lead shoulder. But also just start to have a bit of fun in practice at different types of shots. Uh, it can only help you um, learn how to control the club a little bit better. So thank you again to Kurt for his time. Thank you to you for watching. Usual stuff is down below, comments box, uh, like button, all that kind of stuff. And there's the subscriber link over there. If you're not a subscriber, would love you to be part of my channel and we can help you play some better golf this year. Thanks for watching.